ever wondered if you've chosen the right life partner? Well, our next guest can help you answer that question. California Life is happy to welcome America's marriage doctor, Dr. Jacqueline Del Rosario. She joins us today to discuss how she has helped thousands prepare to tie the knot and to improve their marriages. We are so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us in studio. It's my pleasure. And this is a subject that I'm imagining if you sit on a plane, people want to talk to you about it endlessly. Like we've been talking, just waiting for the show to start. And Absolutely. do you find that everybody has questions and I mean who doesn't want love? Everybody does and everybody wants to be in a winning relationship. What are some of your tips for analyzing just the perfect compatible mate? Well I think you said it first of all learning compatibility. So I think that the very first thing is they have to learn how to analyze who's compatible and who would make a suitable mate for them. Then I think that the second thing is that they have to be ready to understand that it requires work. All of us think that love is all you need, but that's really a misnomer, it's not true. You really have to be ready to do the work, and then you have to get fit, learn the relationship skills so that you can negotiate the institution of marriage successfully. And how about for people that are already married? I mean, do you have tips for, I mean, gosh, it's always, we're always working on it. We are. But you know, as a counselor, one of the things that I find is that most married couples have issues surrounding gender. They're unhappy and these are gender issues. In other words, he's male, she's female, and so males tend to like certain things, females others. Mm -hmm. We need to accept the gender differences and learn to work with them. They actually bring balance into the relationship. And then number two, if there's things that we're unhappy with in the marriage, learn to negotiate. You can really find a happy meeting point somewhere in the middle. And then I think that the third thing is, is that they have to be willing to learn the art of war. Learn to fight fair and learn how to find an agreeable point. We recently watched my wedding video and one of the things that they were saying, oh, give advice, you know, they do that at weddings. And mm -hmm. somebody said over and over, compromise, compromise, compromise. And I didn't get it at the time. I get it now. Yeah. And when is divorce an option? I think divorce should only be an option when you're in an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. If you're suffering physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, then you need to get out of that relationship. But for the most part, if the parties are in love, if they're committed to working through the relationship, really all they need is they need the right compass and the right skill sets. And I think that we can work towards making that relationship healthy, successful, and fulfilling. You know, I, there's so many books out there. There's so many websites. There's, you know, all these different angles telling you, you know, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. What are some of the mistakes that you see that people make? Well, the first mistake, as I mentioned, is not assessing compatibility mm -hmm. and just going for the love thing. Number two, misconceptions about what marriage is all about. You know, we kind of have this watered down version of what marriage is about because we see it on television. Mm -hmm. It's romanticized. We have this notion of the Prince Charming and soulmate concept. But really, relationships are about work and they can be fulfilling if you have the skill sets that you need and you put in the adequate work to make them work. Well, you should know 22 years. Congratulations. 22. <laughs> Thank uh, you. What's your secret? Well, I used to be so afraid. I, I, my parents were married almost 40 years. I was concerned if I'd had what it took to make it work. And I think I figured out what does. And again, my husband and I became very, very compatible throughout the dating process. We understood mm -hmm. that, not just that we felt we were compatible. But I've identified that there's seven domains of compatibility in marriage. Mm -hmm. So if you are talking about these different domains, you can adequately assess, am I really compatible with that person? Um, as a counselor, what I find is that many times I, married, I meet couples that are married, one wants children and the other one doesn't. And they have to have kids. Mm -hmm. And then how do you make that work? Why are you two together? There's gross incompatibility there. And so what worked for me was first of all compatibility, learning how to fight fair and working through this whole issue of marriage um, as a partner, as an equal opposite in the relationship. What's your advice for people that are just stuck with the grass is always greener on the other side? Instead of worrying about greener grass, water your own grass, fertilize it and it can also be green. I love that. I, love yeah. that. I think I need that, you know, on my signature on my website. I mean, that's just wonderful. Any other tips that maybe we just didn't touch on that, you know, we can get from the website and also from the book? Well, sure. Actually, when you visit the website, bestmarriagekeys.com, I've really taken a lot of time to really make sure that I give people bite-sized nuggets to help them daily to walk out a good relationship. So whether you're about to get married, need to understand what is it going to take, if you're already married and you're having some uh, difficulties, or if you're just hair happy and you want to make it get better all the way through, then you can visit our website and you can find out exactly how you need to do that. Thank you so much for being on our show. It's just been Wonderful. a real pleasure. It was my pleasure. Thank you.